Okay, welcome back to um, Shaving Down Under. And I am Doug. And just a quick unboxing here. This is uh, something I've obviously bought off of eBay in Australia. Let's open her up quickly. Just make sure I don't cut myself. That should be roughly center. Something else in there, there isn't. We'll just put that to one side. Scissors. What do we have? Red tip. And um, let's see if you can read that. Not just any red tip, but a made in England red tip. Now I've got a made in America one, and I actually didn't even realise these. There was also an English version of the red tip, and that it's got a little bit more bite than the American. And I only recently found out about this on the Vintage Gillette page on Facebook. I've dived back down the Wombat Burrow of eBay and went looking for made in England red tips. Well, these are close to hen's teeth. We, I must have found 20 or more red tips on eBay and uh, Etsy. And none of them were made in England. They're all American red tips. So this one finally bobbed up from a, a seller in Australia and I just thought I'd jump on and get it. And let's see, it feels all right. Look, the door's opened. Let's see if we can give you a profile view there. So they've closed evenly. Fairly smooth. So this one here, I'm, I'll probably contemplate actually getting this one. Um, like really, that's all pretty good, isn't it? I wouldn't mind getting just the red part of it redone. Otherwise, the the nickel isn't too bad. So maybe getting it all stripped and um, done again. This would be a, a good one to do it with. I haven't actually shaved with any red tips yet and that's something I will do in upcoming videos. I've got a lot of razors now that you know I've got to get out and shave with them and check them all out and uh, do videos on them. Okay, I well, hope you enjoyed it and if you've got a red tip at home, whether it's American or an English one, let me know in the comments what you think about it and whether you enjoy it as a razor or not. Okay, take care and ciao for now.